<laughs> Look at that. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so Toothless is trying to push you. Toothless has been beating me up for a long ass time. Anywho, in our last episode, we managed to win our fourth badge, I believe. They're going to be very dusty. Let me see. Let's go ahead and uh, view badges. Press Y. And, oh, three. Hmm. And they're dusty as heck. Yeah. I haven't been doing very much. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, in our last episode, we won our third badge. And now it is finally time for us to, you know... It is finally time for us to honor our girlfriend's, uh, or defend our girlfriend's honor, because, well, you know, Team Galactic, they're up to their, uh, they're, they're up to their, uh, usual stuff, their schemes and all that stuff, so let's go right ahead and, uh, walk all crazy around here, and then maybe take a quick tour. Now, as you guys can see, Dawn is right here in front of two Team Galactic guys. I am going to be switching out Pokemon because, well, we kind of need to, and, uh, Starblade is kicking some butt right here. So let's go straight for Monfernamon and get ready to kick some butt, take some names and all that stuff. And she's gonna be like, Hi Draven, please can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident and Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back. Please, I need your help. Team up and battle with me. Nah, sure, why not? Let's go ahead. You and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon. United like this, our dream has no chance of losing. I am not letting Team Galactic get away with this. Okay, alrighty, let's do it. Okay. Doing this whole Goku thing and stuff, and well, we are taking on Team Galactic Grunts right here. And they're both going to be coming out with a Dust Sox and uh, Beautifly. Yeah, that's not really a... Not much of a threat right there, so let's go with the Flame Wheel and go with the, the, the person that's a little... Like, well, that has a chance of just doing stuff to us, and that is Dust Sox right here. As you guys can see, Dust Sox has fainted. Yeah. Oh, yes. Kicking some butt, taking some names. Smoke has gained to, or got to level 33. And uh, Beautifly doing that, doing some damage and all that stuff. Monferno Man, yeah, took some damage right there, too. And, well, Clefairy is uh, using her own own stuff and just, uh, yeah, growl. And, well, here comes a Crow Gunk right here. So let's go right ahead and be the bigger person and get to Beautifly first. So here we go, Flame Wheel for the win, and just like that, Beautifly has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And well, here comes a Poison Sting attack. They're going straight for Clefairy, and thankfully, oh well, no, it's poisoned. So let's go right ahead and use a Disarming Voice, which I I never used. And Krogonk, yeah, it's still you know. It's still itself right here. So, here comes a Stunky. I thought they only had like one Pokemon each, but eh, I guess whatever. And I don't know why I'm dozing off. So, here comes a Mock Punch to Stunky, and hopefully this takes it out right here. So, here we go. Mock Punch for the win, and well, nothing like that. Here comes a Fury Swipes, and here comes a Venoshock. That's going to hit Monferno Mon. And, well, Disarming Voice. Hitting these guys, and, well, Clefairy is just, well, it's it's suffering just a little bit right here. So, let's go with a Flame Wheel. Go with Krogunk right here. And he's just going, like, come on, bring it on. Flame Wheel for the win, and there you go. Monferno Mon wins. Here we're getting some more points. Stunky's using Focus Energy. It's trying to use a KO Can attack right here. And here comes the Disarming Voice from Clefairy. And finally, a victory. Okay, alrighty. And look at this, Monferno Mon grows to level 33. And, well, we have defeated Team Galactic Grunts right here. And yes, we are victorious. Yes, you can, you, you should have kept your head down right here. So, after that, the Grunt's going to be like, Oh, that stinks. Our Pokemon are weak. We should get new ones from the headquarters. Hmm. <laughs> Who cares about some Pokedex anyways? Team Galactic is going to uh, to own all Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your Pokedex. Yeah, they're not happy. Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyways. So we'll say you'll get yours and run like the grunts are. We are. Okay, alrighty. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Draven, thank you sincerely. If Professor Rowan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex, uh, 
I don't want it. I don't want to think about it. So, Draven, what are you gonna do now? I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking of going to Pastoria City. The Great Marshes there is a home to many kinds of Pokemon, and it's not my favorite city. The Great Marsh is not really my favorite place at all, and uh, I thought we could find some stuff right here. But here we go, going into the warehouse, and uh, well, as you guys can see, if you go right here, you guys are going to be finding yourself the TM94 Fly. That has been converted into a TM, and well, now Hidden Moves have it, or it's been added to our Hidden Moves and stuff, and I th think, hold on, let's see, let's see, I think we can use it now. Maybe if we want. Ah, uh, yes, we can. We can fly now. Okay. I'm going to press that button again. All right. So, what's next? Yeah, we need to take a tour of this whole place. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to go straight back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and uh, we're going to take a small tour of this whole place and maybe call it an episode or so. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and, well, in our last episode, we failed to do something, and that was to take a tour of this wonderful city right here. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this place, uh, Veilstone City, is kind of like the Celadon, the Goldenrod, uh, the Lily Cove of, Sin of Sinnoh right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go straight into the department store and see what, what we can actually get, because... I don't know, we probably need to, like, stock up on a few things right here, as you guys can see... This is a great place to actually find some uh, some good items like Pokeballs, Escape Ropes, Max Repels, and all that crud. Um, I need to find the place where they sell TMs. Let's see. Uh, nope, those are just regular stuff right here. Which, more than likely off-screen, I'm probably just going to have to like buy and stuff. And, uh, well, if you talk to this, welcome to the Fabulous Department Store, which is cool. Um, Jeez, there, there really isn't much that you can talk about this whole place. Now, if you go right here, Poketech Cafe is free. Okay, so we're going to get the counter app. So, we probably have to do a... Never mind. We got a counter app right here, which is good. It counts up to 900 or 9,900 steps or something. I, I don't even know why the counter app exists. Now, if you go right here, talk to this lady, and this is the vitamin store. Always nice. Always great. So, talk to this lady, and nothing else okay so <laughs> i'm just uh, i'm just taking a small tour of what else we can actually find and uh well let's see what do i recommend okay so those guys are the recommendation guys while the other guys you know they sell stuff now i think this is the place where you can grab yourself some tm so let's see what tms we got so as you guys can see right here tm 27 low sweep uh, TM83, Bulldoze, you got U-Turn, False Swipe, Rest, Protect, Safeguard, Reflect, Light Screen, Substitute, Endure, Workup, Sword Stance, uh, Double Team, and Flash. And it's kind of like I said, guys, I, I really don't like the fact that like in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl, they made, they made TMs limited again, which it's just like, you know, it's, well, it didn't necessarily happen here, but it happened in Sword and Shield and stuff, and I'm just like, I love, I like unlimited uh, TMs, just like HMs and stuff. Uh, right here, you can get yourself Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, which I'm going to buy, uh, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Gyro Ball, Giga Impact, and Hyper Beam. Okay, so some of the most powerful moves right here you'll be able to buy, so I'm going to buy one of each, and Thunderbolt right here. Yeah, and we saved up enough money, so it's, it is what it is. So, TM13, and let's see, Psychic. We can always use a Psychic attack right here. And TM21, a Dazzling Gleam, This is which is a Fire-type move. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much uh, it right there. If you talk to this guy right here, he's like, I love TMs. So I come here to visit a window shop all the time. Hmm, yeah, okay. Let's go right here. And let's see what else we can actually find. And let's see. Uh, talk to her. What would you sell? Okay, so you'd be able to buy yourself some items for, I believe, your like the hidden rooms inside the, the underground stuff, the digging stuff. Yeah, not going to do that right now. Although I should probably go down there just to catch some uh, some interesting Pokemon. I might have to go down there. I might have to pay a visit the next episode to do to do something like that because, well, there are some Pokemon down 
down uh, like underground that you can actually battle. They're much more powerful and they do give you a lot of experience. We're just gonna have to wait and see right here. Uh, shoot, you, you'll, you'll also find some rare Pokemon. So let's see. Let's go all the way back down to floor number one. And there you go. And to believe, you get paid a, ni a, a nice amount of money just to press buttons on the elevator. Ah, uh, the old days. Okay, so let's see. Let's get the heck out of here. And let's move on to another place right here. Now, this place, uh, there is a place right here where you can actually change your outfit and all that crud. And, well, there are a few people. Let's see, if you talk to this, the myth... A myth says that Mount Coronet started Sinnoh in two halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellos makes me think that maybe the myth is real. Which is probably, it is real. Talk to this lady. If there are po if there are people who desire to see them, people or Pokemon will appear in many guises. Guises. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go into the next room right here. We're gonna go, we're just gonna be paying a whole visit to this whole place right here, guys. And, let's see. Team Galactic's building bugs me. I can't sleep with it looming over me. Ah, and those thorny things on the building, are they supposed to be fashionable? Probably. I do not know. Thorny things outside, I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on into the next thing. We are going to be changing our appearance right here, so let's go into this location. And, huh, this used to be the game corner. Wow. Uh, the box here, it goes there. Um, okay. Go right here. Ah, we're so busy. I wish Clefairy could work its magic and help out. Yeah, uh, I guess the game corner has been frowned upon so because of gambling and all that crud. So, yeah, that's what happened to the game corner here. It just disappeared and all that. So, as you guys can see, we are in a uh, clothing shop right here. And if you talk to this lady, it's the metronome style shop. We like to shop, okay? Now, as you guys can see, boom. There are different types of, uh, <laughs> yeah, there are different types of styles right here, and each one of them is pricey. Everybody seems to like the cyber style, and then here we got the winter style, and then we got spring style, which we can wear shorts. This one right here is like, okay, the casual style looks pretty nice. Leather jacket style, which, uh, you know, your boy likes his punk rock and all that stuff. I do... I do believe that later on you 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 will be able to uh, like you will be able to get yourself a uh, what was it called a Pokemon Platinum style kind of thing, and uh, you know what? Let's see. Huh. I like Gengar. Hmm. Eevee style. I do like the cyber style, which we will eventually get. Uh, winter style looks pretty fantastic right here. Uh, spring style, we're about to hit spring, so. Um, and then you got casual style. This this looks like I'm about to go into yoga or something. Look at that. And my hair does look kind of look like that. I just got a haircut. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go with a Pikachu style because it's the cheapest thing. And yes, we're going to be put, putting that on. So look at that. We have changed our style. And... Well, look at that. Holy buckets. No cap, no nothing. We're good. Okay, so we changed up our style. And now, I think we have to go... We're just going to be taking a look around here. And then from there, just you know, call it an episode. Yes, I know. Kind of boring, guys. Kind of boring. And see if we can some find some free items right here. Oh, looking a little tired. Hmm. Not No, not you. I meant your Pokemon. If you'd like, I can give your Pokemon a massage. Would you like that? Yes, I would. So, who would the, who would the person be? Honestly, uh, huh. I don't care who the Pokemon could be. So, let's just go ahead and give it to Monfernomon. And, okay. So, a little massage. And Monfernomon looks, uh, looks good. And we get ourselves one leaf sticker. Which is cool, I guess. And if you talk to this guy, hey, my sister's boyfriend is a scarf guy in Pastoria City. They take strolls together with their Pokemon. Those are those two are really close. Good, I guess. Probably I, I I couldn't tell. And if we go right here, we are gonna find these guys. And there are many magicians in the world, you know, the performing art performance artists. Don't you think that maybe uh, five percent are actually psychics? Probably five percent of them. And have you been to Veilstone Gym? 
It's pretty cool. It reminds me of an athletic center, which I have been there, and I did kick some butt. Yeah, we did all that stuff right there. Anywho, uh, so the next, the next part to this whole adventure is we're going to be going down to, what was it, Pastoria City? Yeah, Pastoria City. Uh, I believe in our next episode, I kind of want to make it special for you guys. I, I do want to trade some Pokemon here and there, so we're going to have some fun. We're gonna have some fun with that, and uh, we might see a mo multiple episodes this this upcoming week, uh, depending on how it goes with Pokemon Y, because we're reaching the end. But yep, this has been our episode. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Bro uh, Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Wow, keep on messing up. See you guys.